Hi friends, I'm sure in the world of artificial intelligence, you would have heard buzzwords like neural networks and neurons. But do you really understand what are neural networks and how they are trying to model our human brain? Neural networks is a complex topic. But don't worry, I'm going to make it really easy for you and help you visualize how it is modeling our human brain. Also, do check out our artificial intelligence and coding courses on our website manuchaacademy.com and our Android app. I'll put the links below. So let's get started with this topic. Neural networks, also known as artificial neural networks, ANNs in short, or simply neural nets, are a class of machine learning models inspired by the structure and functionality of our human brain. They are designed to recognize complex patterns and relationships in data and they have proven to be highly effective in various fields including computer vision, natural language processing and speech recognition. Since the neural network structure is inspired by the structure of our human brain, first let's understand the structure of our brain and how it works. The human brain is made up of a massive network of cells known as neurons. Neuron, also known as a nerve cell, is a specialized cell that is the fundamental unit of the nervous system. The structure of a neuron contains four main parts. The dendrites, the cell body also called the soma, the axon and the axon terminals with the synapse. Dendrites are the branch-like structures that receive the incoming signals. Dendrites act as the antenna of the neuron and their role is to receive the inputs. The cell body or soma is the central part of the neuron and it contains the nucleus. The soma is the processing unit. It processes all the inputs and produces an output. The axon is a long thin projection that extends from the cell body. The job of the axon is to transmit the output. At the end of the axon, there are terminal branches known as axon terminals. These axon terminals are connected to the dendrites of the next set of neurons. So let's recap this. Dendrites receive the inputs. The soma processes the information. The axon transmits the output. And the axon terminals connect the output to the next set of neurons. Now let's take just one neuron from our biological neural network and see how we can model it for our artificial neural network. We will represent the soma or cell body of the neuron with a node represented by a circle as shown here. This node receives various inputs via the dendrites which we are going to represent as arrows going into the node. The soma produces an output which is transmitted via the axon. So we are going to represent the output with a single arrow as shown here. Since the axon is connected to more neurons through multiple axon terminals, we will put a branching at the end of the output to represent this. As you can see, we have simplified the biological neuron and represented it with this simple structure having multiple inputs, a processing node, a single output and then branches at the end. This was just one neuron. Did you know that the average human brain has about 86 billion neurons and each neuron can have a few or thousands of connections via the dendrites. So you can imagine our brain is a very complex network of these neurons. In the artificial neural network, we try to model the human brain by having many layers of nodes. The nodes in the neural network are divided into three types of layers. The input layer, the hidden layers and the output layer. There is one input layer, one or more hidden layers and then one final output layer. For simplicity, we will show a few nodes in the diagram here. The input layer is the first layer of the network and its job is to take the data as the input. The input layer receives the initial data or features that are fed into the network. For example, let's say you want to take the data of a person. 
Then the features could be things like age, height and weight of the person. Each neuron or node in the input layer represents a feature or attribute of the input data. Next are the hidden layers. A neural network may have one or more hidden layers and these layers are responsible for processing the input data. Each neuron can receive multiple inputs through the dendrites and each neuron can transmit the output to multiple neurons via the axon terminals. So we are going to interconnect the nodes of one layer with the nodes of the next layer with the help of arrows as shown here. So the hidden layers contain these layers of interconnected nodes and they are responsible for processing the input and producing the output. The output layer is the last layer of the neural network and its job is to produce the final output or prediction of the neural network. The number of nodes in the output layer depends on the specific task the neural network is designed for. For example, if the neural network is making a yes or no decision, then the output layer typically has a single node. Let's say the output values can be between 0 to 1. So if the output value is above 0.5, then it's considered a yes. And if it's below 0.5, it's considered a no. Neural networks operate through a process called forward propagation, where data flows through the network from the input layer to the output layer. Each neuron in a layer receives the inputs from the previous layer, performs a computation and passes the output to the next layer. We will look into more details on how the neural networks are trained and how they work in the next video. The ability of neural networks to learn and generalize from large amounts of data makes them powerful tools for tasks such as image and speech recognition, natural language understanding and recommendation systems. So hope the concept of artificial neural networks has got stored in your brain's neural network. And if you like this video, do remember to hit the like button and share it out with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Come on, hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. And do check out our website manochaacademy.com and our Android app Manocha Academy. We have full courses on science, maths, coding and artificial intelligence. Links are given below the video. Thanks for watching.